Hey, this is Passy from Passy's World of ICT, the guy with the white hat. And you might be wondering, why is he wearing a Sony t-shirt today? Because this is the first video we're making with a stereo uh, clip-on microphone down here. And it's a Sony ECM LV1 uh, clip-on Lavalier microphone. Uh, that's going into the Zoom recorder and this is the first video, yay, where we're trying it out. It was a recent birthday present, so hopefully this sound's gonna be good. It is very sensitive though, we noticed. What we used to do is just record in mono and then we used Audacity to just make double tracks, the same thing in both ears. Ah, but now we've got full stereo. So uh, this is progress, guys, and we're gonna make progress on our website and actually finish our, we'll sort of get our demonstration website really going now by making links. And we're using Dreamweaver to do that. If you've got the old Dreamweaver, it's green. The new one's this horrible purple color. But either way, they both do pretty much the same thing. And we're going to be able to click on buttons uh, down the bottom here. And we're going to be able to go to different pages. So it's going to be like really exciting. So we're going to be linking uh, the web pages together. <clears throat> now you need to have made, done our previous lesson uh, where we made the HTML web pages because you're going to need those HTML web pages uh, to link together. So they're the, we originally made the design in Photoshop, right? Save them as JPEGs, but then in the next lesson after that one, uh, we took those JPEGs and used Dreamweaver to actually make HTML pages for them. So you need to have done that lesson. All right, and then you'll have, uh, the pages for our Indian restaurant website that we've been making will be running inside Google Chrome here, okay? And you need to have all six pages and have them running, all right? So make sure if you haven't done that, you'll sorry, you'll have to go back and do it. This isn't in the downloads. Uh, it's not supplied to you. So in this uh, lesson, we create links on the button. So here's our homepage running in Google Chrome, which we did in the last lesson. And the idea is that if we click on the contact button here on that page, uh, this page will go away and be replaced by our contact page, all right? And then once we've looked at our contact page, we can click any of these other buttons, but if we click the home button, it'll just swap back to displaying this page in the browser. All right, so we're able to swap between pages and navigate or go around our whole website looking at all the different pages in whatever order we want to. So this is uh, really good. Now this is gonna be a long lesson and I'm a slow talker. So remember to uh, go to that tools cog that's on the play bar of the video, right? Click on that tools cog, go to playback speed and set it to 1.5, 1.75 or even 2X, okay? Now this video, like uh, all our videos is gonna have a timeline index so you can take breaks. Uh, this is not the one for this video, this is for another one. But say you'd finished beach photos, right? Uh, you could take a break there and even come back to the video um, days later uh, do the show more to see all the video description, go to the timeline index, and then you're up to doing uh, the next lesson here, lesson four, let's say. So you click on that blue 4817 and it jumps straight in the video, uh, right to that point in the video and you can continue work. So do that as well. Now there's only two downloads for this, the overview, which we're looking at uh, right now, and we're gonna go through in the presentation, and the actual detailed step-by-step -step instructions. These are more like a kind of a book. So if you like reading a book uh, more than watching a video really, or using a sort of summary set of instructions like the overview, well, just get this download. Uh, the link to the downloads is in the video description as well, uh, because you need to have done this previous lesson, make HTML web pages from mockups, that one in our Photoshop series. So you need to have done that. So you've got all the HTML web pages. So if you haven't done that lesson, go find that video on Passy's World of ICT, the YouTube channel, and you need to do that lesson, all right? And that lesson has downloads uh, in the video description as well. So we're gonna open the home page that we made in that last lesson and get the properties panel displaying. Then we're gonna do a link uh, to the about page uh, by making a hotspot on the about button that's on the home page. I uh, will test out to make sure that's working, of course, and we'll create some more uh, hotspot links to all of the other pages. So home can go to uh, every other page on the website. And we will show you how you can edit hotspots in the raw HTML code. You shouldn't be scared of HTML code. It's really cool and makes things so much faster and easy once you know a little bit about it. And that's what we're gonna learn in this lesson, some more about HTML code. And then we can repeat the steps um, 
one to five. I'll actually, uh, what are we? We, we, yeah, you could do it that way. We're going to show you a quick way to do it with HTML uh, code copy and pasting. And then of course we have to thoroughly test the finished demonstration uh, website at the end. So uh, that's it. And let's get into it. So in this video, we're going to show you just a little bit and then we'll do a live demo. Then we'll show you a little bit more and do a live demo of that. So uh, it's kind of bit by bit. And first thing is you need to learn, know how to display the page properties in Dreamweaver, all right? So in Dreamweaver, we need to open up our, our home HTML. So this was all covered in the last lesson. You should know how to use Dreamweaver. Uh, you should know how to use site, manage sites and go back to that website and get it open. Uh, you should know how to do, I think it's window and make sure the files panel is showing here. In the files panel, this top right hand corner, there's one called home. If you double click on that, this will open up straight away. That's the quickest way to get to it. I mean, you could go up the top here in the left hand corner and go file open and do it the old fashioned way, but just double click in there and that'll uh, open it up straight away. Then you need to use your control minus key to shrink it down because we want to be in design view here and we want it to uh, fit all on the page. All right, so make sure in design view, control minus so that we can see all of the buttons at once. They may not be great clarity. Dreamweaver doesn't give a great preview of the page. Remember, it looks much better when you actually just run it in the Chrome browser. So uh, we click on the page. Now, this is the next thing. You need to click onto the actual image on the page, all right? Uh, students forget to do this, and when they go window properties, they don't see all of these properties that are down the bottom here, right? They uh, don't see much at all. It's because you first need to click on here because we're going to the buttons. We're going to draw over the buttons that are on the image. So you need to click on the image. You'll know you're on the image because you see these little um, resizing squares appear. All right. So make sure you clicked just anywhere in here. So you're on the image. The resizing squares are appearing. Then you need to go window properties and that'll get the properties panel up this guy. And then you can push down, hold down your mouse and just slide it down the bottom here uh, out of the way. Just, well, just directly underneath the buttons actually is where we need it. Um, now, it's really important these map icons in the bottom left hand corner here are showing. They're the ones that we use uh, mainly in this lesson to create the links. Now, because our laptops have gotten smaller, they've got all these space saving features and this little bit might be closed and not be showing up. You'll only see this bit. There's a tiny little triangle in the bottom right hand corner. You may have to click that to open up this little section. All right. They just close little sections and squash things up for these little laptops. I hate little laptops. They're really bad for your eyes. Um, <coughs> but <coughs> I do use one for traveling because they got really good battery life and they're super lightweight. All right, so let's do a live demo and show you what you need to do in Dreamweaver. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Dreamweaver 2021 CC, and we've got our website open from the last lesson, and here's our files panel. Now we just go down to home and click on it to highlight it. Then if you double click this, our home will open up. Notice up here we are in design view. If that's in our live view, just flick it over to design view, but you need to be in design view for this. And uh, we have to use these side scrolling bars to be able to get down to here. And we can't see all the buttons. So we need to hold down the CTRL key down the bottom left hand corner, press minus, which is kind of up the top where all the numbers are on the keyboard on this laptop and just shrink it down a bit. Uh, like that so we can see all of the buttons. All right, so we just did control minus. If you do too many control minuses, remember do control plus. Uh, hold down that CTRL key and hit the plus equals button sort of thing and that'll do that. But that's a good size. Now we go window and properties. So we need to get the properties open and you'll notice that the properties have HTML and CSS. They're not the ones we wanted. Now what's going on there? Uh, the thing is, remember, you have to click on the image so that you've got these little resizes displayed uh, because these buttons here are on the image. All right. So click on the image, then do your window properties and you'll get the properties specific to the image. All right. So now we've got the right ones. Now, what might happen is that you only have this skinny row 
of properties and you're not seeing the map tools down the bottom left hand corner here. So to move this around we just pushed on it with our mouse and held our mouse button down till we got it to where we wanted it then we let go. So there's a tiny tiny little uh, triangle down the bottom right hand corner of that property so if it's too skinny and you're not seeing map all right click on that and these are the map tools and that's the guy we're going to need uh, this rectangle one here all right so that's that and we now have our properties open and we are ready uh, to make hotspots but we better show you how to do that all right so we'll go back to the presentation okay so hotspot linking to the about page uh, <clears throat> so we're going to use that little square tool in the map tools down here so click on it so it's active and it should go dark gray and then you have to hold push down your mouse button and hold it down and carefully draw a rectangle around the about button now if you mess it up just let go of the mouse button and use your control z or control z uh, to go backwards and try again all right but we need to get kind of this square around the about button the about button will kind of change color to green and notice also the properties will change when you let go of the mouse after you've drawn that hot spot um, you'll get to the hotspot properties like this all right so uh, that's what we need to do in this step uh, and get that ready with the hotspot drawn on it now we actually have to make that hotspot into a link so you'll notice in these hotspot properties there's a box called link that just has a hashtag sign in it at the moment uh, which means it's not linked up to any anything at all so you double click on this folder and then it's just normal windows file navigation to get to where the about page is and you just single click on that to highlight it now we've been using a uh, Microsoft Edge for our browser so we've got the Edge symbol here yours will probably have the Chrome symbol so don't worry if this symbol's not the same as yours you've probably got a Chrome type symbol doesn't matter what the symbol is at the front you need to uh, just single click on the about page here uh, to select that and then click OK all right and then what we should see is that in this hotspot properties when we're clicked on about we see the green hotspots drawn on top of it the sensitive rectangle area and when you click on this uh, when we're running it in the browser the link is it's going to go to the about.html page all right which we got to by doing the folder and navigating to it and selecting it um, now we can continue to draw hotspots on each of the page buttons one by one so yeah while we're here before we test the about page we might as well do all of them so the menu ones here so we can get back on this well we still should be on that uh, map tool this one here and just draw a rectangle around menu uh, so we've done booking which is further along here drawn the rectangle around it to make the hotspot then we clicked on the folder and that one has to link to booking.html uh, here's the menu one here so we've drawn the rectangle around with this little hotspot maker and then we've clicked the folder and we've got it linking to menu.html uh, draw one around gallery click the folder make sure that goes to gallery html when you navigate to it normal windows style and the last one here contact uh, draw your square around that click your folder make sure it links to uh, contact and then we'll have all of our uh, buttons on the home page now have hotspots on them and that means they're linked to other pages so let's show you a live demo of doing that particular step in adobe dreamweaver okay so here we are back in adobe dreamweaver remember we click on this rectangle one so if you want to get out of hotspot drawing mode just click to normal mouse mode that's what that arrow is directly underneath mapping down the bottom left hand corner here but we need to be on the rectangle hotspot tool so we click that so it goes dark gray and what we can do is we can just push down our mouse and draw it's very hard to see because we've got a black background but that's a rectangle around the about page about button sorry then you click on this uh, arrow here and it should uh, be at the right one so l12 HTML's lesson yeah because you've mapped here in your files panel it should automatically go to the right one now we need to single click on about and click OK all right so about is now linked to the about page all right so we just uh, we're still on that rectangle hotspot maker so we just draw a rectangle around menu carefully and then we go to the folder for it and that one needs to link to menu so we single click on menu and say okay all right 
draw a rectangle around booking and you guessed it, click on that folder and make that one go to booking, single click and say OK. Then draw a rectangle around gallery. Whoops, now I've messed my rectangle up. Just go hold down CTRL and press Z or Z if you're an American. And then we can have another go and try again. All right, so now that's all right. That's OK. We didn't no slips with the mouse. Click on that. This one is going to, I can actually push down this blue bar and move that around. Uh, this one's going to gallery. Okay, so that one goes to gallery. Okay, and last but not least here, the last button is contact. Okay, and click on the folder. And that one needs to go to contact. And that's okay. Now we haven't done home uh, because with home, uh, we don't want to go anywhere because we are on the home page here. All right. So we don't need uh, anything on home uh, at the moment. All right. So that's got all of that step completed. Now, if we go back down the very bottom left hand corner in the map tools, go back on the arrow tool. And if you click on each of these, you can check them. So home just has uh, the link is blank. About has a hotspot on it. It's linking to about. Menu is linking to menu. Booking is linking to booking. Gallery is going to gallery OK and contacts going to contact OK. So that's looking pretty good. All right. So uh, we might even do a file up the top left hand corner here. File and just do a save all just to save all the work we're doing. Uh, and that's it for that step. All right. So we need to test those uh, hotspot links we've made. So the idea is that we'll have our home page open here. And if you click on about, it should go to the about page. If you click on menu, it should go to the menu page. Booking should go to the booking page. Gallery should go to the gallery page and contact should go to the contact page. All right. Um, so now remember from the last lesson, uh, you should know that when we want to get the browser open to test web pages from Dreamweaver, you right click on the name up the top here of the web page in that tab, right click on that open in browser and we're just going to use Google Chrome. All right. So click that and the home page should open up in uh, the Chrome browser. You might have to use control minus just to shrink it down if it's too big or control plus to make it bigger. And here's our home page opened up. All right. And that's all looking good in the browser. Now, when we move our mouse over the about button, uh, don't have the but mouse button pushed down. Just move your mouse, your finger off the button to here. A hand should suddenly appear. That's because we got the link. OK, that's the hyperlink um, hand symbol that's in the browser. that tells us, hey, this guy's a link. All right. And when you click on that link, what should happen is you won't see the home page anymore. The about HTML page should open up and we'll see the about. Now, when you're on the about page at the moment, you, you cannot click home and go back to home because remember, we've only done these hotspot links on the home page. The about page doesn't have any hotspot links, so you can click all you like on this home button and nothing will happen. So to go backwards to the home page, uh, you're going to have to use this back button that's up the top left hand corner of the browser. Here it is enlarged. Uh, you'll have to use that back button to get back to the home page. And then when you're back at the home page, then you can click and check the next button menu and so on. But you'll need to use this to go back to the home page because we haven't done hotspots on any of those other pages yet. We've only done the home page. All right. So we'll test all of the buttons on the home page, uh, the other ones. So when you click menu, remember it should go to menu. Uh, when you click booking, it should go to booking. Gallery should go to all the pictures of the gallery. And contact should go to a map and a phone number and all that sort of stuff. Now remember, when you click menu and it goes to menu, to get back to here to check the next one, which is booking, you will have to use that back button up the top left hand corner. All right. So when you're on the home page, the page that looks like this, you're just clicking on buttons and checking out that it swaps over to the right page. But when you're on that page and you want to go back to the home page again, you'll have to use the back button at this stage because we haven't linked all of the pages together yet. Uh, but we're getting good progress towards doing that. All right, so let's show you a live demo of that in Dreamweaver. OK, so here we are in Dreamweaver, our home page. We made all the hotspots. So remember, right click on this tab up the top, go to open in browser and go to Google Chrome. All right. Now in Google Chrome here, uh, you can see it's a little bit too big. So I'm going to hold down the CTRL key and press the minus button and I'm at 90%, 80%.
75 nearly there. That's a good size at 67%. All right, so there we go. There's our homepage. Now I go to about and yes, I'm getting the little hand symbol. That's looking good. And notice it's everywhere where that hotspot is. There's a hand symbol. So I click while I'm on the about page. Now you will have to control minus on this to make it fit. Uh, hold down CTRL and do minus. But remember, if you click the home here, there's no hyperlink. Uh, there's no kind of hotspot on any of these yet. So about doesn't work yet because we haven't done its uh, hotspots. So we'll have to use this back arrow up the very top left can corner. I might just close down that other one there. We'll have to use this back arrow, right, to go back to the home page. All right. So we can go to about, but we have to use the back arrow to get back to home. All right. About worked beautifully. Let's go to menu. Menu. We've got the hand on it. Uh, click it and we'll have to do control minus and then use the back button. But that's definitely the menu page. That's working beautifully. And notice once you've done the resizing once, when we click menu again, it's the correct size and we don't have to use control minus. I'll just use the back button there to go back. Booking, good. We've got the hand symbol on booking. Let's click it. Goes to the bookings. Uh, first time through, we will have to just control minus it to get it to fit. Uh, but that's looking great. Use the back button. Try out gallery. Oh, that is the gallery of pictures. Uh, things are going really well here. Use the back button up the left hand corner and try out contact. And it's going to contact with the map and everything. So that's really good. So if we go to about, it goes to about. We have to use the back button, remember. Uh, but the home button, home page is all set up. We can go to gallery if we want. Now, at the end, we'd be able to click home when we got this whole thing finished, but we don't yet, so we'll have to use the back button. All right, so the home page is looking uh, fantastic, so very happy about that. So now we just need to do all that same stuff again, making hotspots for all these other pages. So we've got to get our about page open in Dreamweaver, do all the hotspot links for that, and uh, then it'll be able to go to all the other pages. Then we will need to get our menu page open, do all the hotspots again. Now, drawing all the hotspots and doing it for every single page is kind of the long way. And we're going to show you this really cool um, shortcut method where you can copy and paste HTML code and just do it that way, which will be a lot easier. All right. Now, we've been going for um, 20, 20 minutes or so. So this would be a good time probably to have a break and... Um, just pause the video, then you can go in the timeline index and, all right, in the timeline index, just look for step four, editing HTML code to fix hotspots. All right, and you can come back here. So take a break, um, get your home page working with all of its hotspots on the buttons. Check those buttons are going to the correct HTML pages. Just remember while you're checking them and and testing them in the browser. You will have to use the back button each time to get back to the home page. But get that all working and done. And uh, that's kind of the theory of what we're doing. And then come back here to step four. Okay, step four, editing HTML code to uh, fix hotspots. So everything that appears on the web page is actually driven by HTML code. We made it all in design view, but behind that, um, if we look at our home page here, we've got it opened up in Dreamweaver. And instead of being in design view, we click on split, uh, which we learned all this in the previous lesson. Well, then you can see your design up the top. And we can use this uh, slider here to get down to where the buttons are. And underneath it, you can see the code. Now, if the code isn't showing enough, I uh, remember there's a boundary line here and you can just... Uh, have your mouse moving over it with, with no buttons pushed down, just hovering over it. When you see these double lines, uh, like a big long equal sign, push down your mouse and then you can slide uh, this boundary here up and down. Because we want it so we just see the buttons here and we can see the code for them down here. So the actual uh, drawings of the hotspots around there, making it linked to these HTMLs, uh, doing that process behind the scenes actually generated this HTML code in here the uh, map code, and all of this is the mapping of the buttons, mapping those buttons so that when you click on them, they will actually go to a web page. So that's the HTML behind the scenes that drives everything. And we're gonna learn how to edit this now so that we can make little changes uh, to our hotspots and little fixes if we need to. All right, now if we need to go back and fix the hotspots too late, doing control Z's not working, um, 
and we it's really messed up what we can do is uh, so say we needed to remove the contact us button because we'd really messed up the hotspot and uh, nothing was working and we couldn't control z back uh, or control z back well then get into split view uh, on the home page and down here in this map area map this is where it does the mapping of those uh, rectangular rect see rectangular hotspots located at these particular xy coordinates uh, pairs of coordinates uh, this coordinate here is the top left corner of the hotspot we drew and this one here is the bottom right hand corner of the hotspot we drew and this is the x coordinate this is the y coordinate just realize that in our computer screens y coordinates go down the screen uh, it's a bit different to maths x still goes across like in math right with coordinates so zero would be here but the y coordinates don't go up they go down so zero zero is actually the top left hand corner of the page all right and our pages were 1920 by 1080 so this bottom right hand corner here would be x is all the way across at 1920 and we've come down 1080 all right so the y coordinates go down the screen so this button here at 1592 1060 for its corner the contact one's kind of way over here because it's um sort of getting up towards 1920 uh it's here and then it's also a long way down the screen being at 1060 because all the way down our screen is 1080 that's how big we made our screen uh, originally in the previous lesson but anyway what we can do is you can just highlight all of that or carefully backspace to delete that line of code and then you've removed the contact us uh, hotspot and you can go back to design view and redraw it all and fix the error up it'll regenerate a line of code here and hopefully that will be okay so we just need to carefully delete that code and the contact button then will go clear like this because there is no hotspot on it anymore because we got rid of the code that does the hotspot and then you could redraw your hotspot with this uh, map tool the rectangle one and you could click on your uh, folder button here and link it up to contact okay and remake it and all should be good so that's one way uh, we can use html code to fix hotspots now another thing we could do if something went wrong let's say we drew the hotspot on the gallery button but then we forgot to click the folder and do the page um, link what will happen there is that uh, the link's just going to show up as a hashtag symbol all right so if we do that if we draw the gallery hotspot but then we forget to click the folder and actually link to any html uh, behind the scenes in the code what you'll see is that uh, for this particular uh, rectangle here because gallery is the last button before contact it's in between the bookie and contact buttons see how it's just got a hashtag in there it's not going to link to the gallery page um, it's just got hashtags so it won't link to anything so you when you um, move the mouse over it in the browser you'll see the hand symbol but you click and nothing happens because uh, we forgot to put this in now you could delete all this and go and remake the hotspot and this time remember to uh, click the folder but it's easier to actually directly edit this code to fix it all right so all we have to do is carefully get in where that hashtag sign is and delete that hashtag sign and in between the quotes just uh, type in the correct spelling of the name of that page in our website and it is gallery.html all right so you can carefully type that in and that should fix it um, we should then have a link okay and the third thing we can do is uh, see these hotspots we've drawn they're not all the same size and the menu one's kind of uh, going down a long way the about one isn't going down very far the booking sort of in terms of how far it goes down uh, they work okay but they just don't look neat and I'm a neat freak so I would edit the uh, HTML code and all you have to do is when we check uh, these y coordinates remember which is the y coordinate of the top left hand corner we want to get those all the same and we want the y coordinate of the bottom right hand corner to all be the same as well so the reason these are different kind of thicknesses going up and down uh, 
the menu is a big long one here going up and down. Uh, the reason is because their Y coordinates are different. So we need to look at these. 972 might be good if they are all 972. Here, it might be good if they are all kind of around 1058, 1056. So we can edit this uh, HTML code. So all these yellow ones, we just changed them all, carefully typed in there to make them 972. And for these pink ones, because they're all different and making these different kind of um, thicknesses, we just made them all 1056, all right? So we just went in there and carefully edited the HTML code. Now, you'll need to do view and refresh design view to see the changes on the actual page in Dreamweaver design view. But when you do that, you should see now, see how they're all the exact same height? Uh, they're like a bunch of little um, train carriages next to each other and every single one is the same height. All right, so that's all tidied up and neat now. So you can actually uh, get in the uh, HTML code and edit um, the hotspot map code to do that. All right, so there are three things that we just did fixes and it was a lot quicker to edit code than to delete things, get the properties up again, draw the rectangle again, click the folder, navigate in Windows, just Get good at editing HTML code and it makes your life so much easier, all right? So uh, let's do a live demo uh, showing you how we do that, all right? So away we go, back into Dreamweaver. Okay, now here we are in Dreamweaver and let's go into split view. And now to see our page here, uh, we are clicked onto the image, that's good. We'll have to use this side slider to get down to where all the buttons are. Could we go control plus here and get them a bit bigger? Possibly not. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh, we can see them. And okay, we don't need these properties anymore. So to hide them, there's a tiny little X uh, up the top right hand corner of them. Just click that. <clears throat> All right, remember there's a double line thing. If you mouse here, very carefully, you'll get the double lines. Push down and hold down your mouse and you can slide this, he says. A bit tricky to get a hold of it. We mainly want to see code. So let's use this. So we just slid that down and you can slide across as well. So we can see our buttons clearly. <clears throat> And if you click on a button, it'll actually go to the code for that button. So here's the map code. Um, actually, I might bring those down closer together because it might make it easier for zooming in the video. Oh, come on, where's that? Of course, it's not gonna give me the equal sign now. Uh, let's just go right down to here so I got them close together. All right, <clears throat> so the menu one, uh, why is that bigger and longer and taller and fatter than the other ones? Well, the reason why is uh, because it's got a 1066 in here and a 753. This has, oh, sorry, don't mess up with the y, what, X coordinates. We're only doing the Ys. Uh, so all of these. So remember, I think it was we were making all of these 972. Uh, so let's go in there and do that. So... What are we doing? We're doing the last one we did at the moment. We're just going to change these to all 972. Uh, so they've all got the same top left corner Y coordinates. So make sure you change, don't mess with the X's because that's how far they go across. Uh, we just want to mess with the Y's. And these ones are the Y coordinates at the bottom corner. So this one, uh, we decided we make all of these, uh, let's just make them all 1058. Okay, so we'll make them 58. Now the thing is you won't see them changing yet in design view uh, because we're going to have to do a refreshing of design view to see this. All right, so that, having all these Ys the same and all these Y coordinates the same, when we go up the top here and go view and refresh design view, uh, that's it. They're all the same height and shape now okay so we fixed all that up now what if uh, say on menu uh, if you forgot to put the and if you forgot to click the folder and put the link in what will happen is 
it'll just put a hashtag symbol okay so on our menu button here we forgot to put the link in let's say and we got the hashtag now i'll show you what happens when we run it like that uh open in browser uh, let's open up in microsoft edge just for something different save the changes yes always do save changes yes so here we are we can go to the about page all right so that one works all right and we can use the back button to go back see when we click menu we've got the hand symbol on menu okay but nothing's happening because we forgot to do that folder linking when we were making the hotspot uh, so that's a problem so menu isn't working at all all right the easiest way to fix it is to go into the code here and we know up in here the name of that in the files in the top right hand corner is menu.html so all we have to do is carefully in those quotes type it exactly like it is in that file display in the top right hand corner it's called menu.html all right and if we now right click up the top here and go open in browser uh, let's use microsoft edge again save the changes yes uh, it's opened it up okay with a new tab up here and when we click menu now it goes to the menu all right so it's all good okay so that is now working and remember you use your back button all right so if you forgot to do the link you drew the hotspot in so you've got the hand symbol but forgot to do the link uh, the easiest way to fix it is just jump into the html get rid of the hashtag sign and type the link in all right so that's how we um do things in the HTML and there we go. All right, so let's get back to uh, the lesson because we've still got all of the other pages to do, but we're gonna show you a quick way of doing it. All right, so I'm gonna make hotspots for all the pages. So we could uh, repeat steps one to three. So we could open up the about page, we get the properties, we could draw hotspots on all of the buttons on the about page and stuff and then we could um, make sure we'd click on the folders to link them all and stuff so if you really like using design view and drawing lots of little squares you can do it that way and you are quite welcome but we're going to show you how to copy and paste hotspot html and make things really happen quickly all right now the first thing is however remember how we didn't have a hotspot on the home page uh, button we need to add that in because we're going to be copy and pasting this to other pages where they do need to link uh, to the home all right so that's something we have to do first uh, so we have to go on our home page html that we've been working on and also add a hotspot to there with the hotspot drawer and all of that all right and that'll add it in here with the coordinates and everything will be good when we check the code uh, change these to 972 and 1056 because they probably won't be right uh, so that's all good now we have uh, we've got some full map code now because remember we cloned the pages to make them we made the home page first in Photoshop and then cloned them all so all the buttons on every page is in the exact same spot and that's great because that means we can use the um, hotspot HTML code from the home page and we can just paste that into every other single page and we don't have to worry about X and Y coordinates uh, because they'll all be okay because all the buttons are in the same spot all right might take you a while to think about that but trust me that's how it is so we can take this code here and we just paste that code into uh, the about page into the menu page into the booking page uh, carefully copy and paste it in using dreamweaver and those pages will have hotspots on their buttons the only thing you have to do is uh, where there's the actual existing thing that has the jpeg for that page we have to tell it that we've actually made a map of hotspots so you have to have add some extra code in there that says use the map that's called hashtag map all right because uh, the name of this map map name equals map so we're telling it okay there is a map for this uh, image and you need to find map which is right here that's the name of it and this will give all those hotspots that are on top of the buttons okay and then uh, that's going to do it all for us. We don't have to draw any more hotspots or click any more folders to do links or anything. So this is the sort of thing we do. Here's the about page HTML. We'd have to go into here and manually type in use map equals quote hashtag map. 
So it matches up with this name here. And then you've got to carefully make a new line and copy and paste all this in from the home page. So we've got to manually edit that line and we've got to copy and paste this in. All right. Then we'll have to do view and refresh design view so that we can see the hotspots are all on the about page. And that should be the about page done. And we can do the exact same code changes on all of the other pages. So let's show you a live demo and I think you'll find it tricky at first, but then I'll be okay. All right, so we've got our home page open here. Now we need to open all the other pages as well. So just double click, go to your files up the top right hand corner, open up about, open up booking, double click on contact, double click on gallery, and we also need menu. So we should have six tabs across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now go back to the home page. Now we'll have to change this back to design view because remember we uh, don't have a hotspot on the home button. So we have to go back and that's our first step. We've got to go back and actually make a hotspot on that now. So remember it's window properties. Uh, we're not seeing the right ones. We've got HTML and CSS. What did we forget to do, kiddies? We didn't uh, click on the actual photo. So click on the photo. And you'll notice that when you do windows and properties, you don't have a picture and you don't have the link and the source and you don't have your little hotspot map. All right, so we'll have to uh, slide down in here. Okay, that's too big. So we'll have to do a bit of control minus on that and then get our properties underneath the home one. So remember, get on this rectangle map tool, draw it in like that. Then we need to, uh, now I haven't drawn it properly there, but that's going to be okay because when we change those Y coordinates, it's actually going to fix it. So all you can do, control and Z and draw it properly. Okay, control and Z, CTRLZ. I'm just going to deliberately draw it wrong here and show you how. It's got to get fixed up later on. I uh, remember to click the folder. Don't forget to do that. And this has to link to home. So single click on that and say, okay. And that's all good. So we can close the properties. Let's go back into split view. We've got the new one for home, but let's change. Remember we changed those Y coordinates to be 972. So let's fix up this guy. So he's 972 as well. And this one, they're all 1058. So let's fix that up as 1058. And that home button isn't fixed yet, Passy. You liar, you liar, it's not fixed. <laughs> you've got to go view and you've got to go to refresh design view, all right? And then you've got to actually go to this side scrolling bar. Oh, look at that. The home is the perfect size and all fixed now because we edited those coordinates. All right, so we now have uh, this set of code here does the mapping uh, of the hotspots onto those buttons and sets them up to link to an HTML page. So what we can do is we can color that in with our mouse and right click it and go copy. And then we're gonna to go to our about page. We're gonna be in split view. We're going to go down to where it's got image, you know, about page, JPEG, this stuff. We're gonna to go to the end of that line Carefully press the enter key once, and then we're going to press the backspace so that we're lined up right on this edge at line 16 here. Then we're just going to right click and we're going to go paste. And now we've got that code all pasted in there. Okay, so we're going to do that on every page. So up the top here, there's the booking page in this tab. We're going to click on booking now. We're going to carefully go down to where it's got booking page JPG just here. Go to the end of that line, press enter, press backspace so that it all lines up properly here. Then we're going to uh, right click and do paste. Or you can press CTRL and V as a shortcut. So now we've got all the map code in the booking page. All right, so we're going to go back up to the top to our tabs, go to the contact page. Uh, going down here to where the image is, go to the end of the image line, carefully press enter once, then press backspace, and then I'm going to use control V to make it quicker. And we've got the map in there. Now we go to gallery page, you guessed it, go to the end of the picture where the image JPEG is, 
press enter once, backspace once, CTRL and V to paste it in. And one more to do the menu page, go down here using this sidebar scroller if you have to, to get to the JPEG image, press enter once, backspace once, right click and paste or use control V. And we've got that in there. All right, let's go back to our home page now. Now, that's pasted the mapping in, but remember we have to tell the image here, the JPEG, this line of code here, we have to tell it that it's going to be using a map that's laid out on top of the picture. So remember there was this code here, use map equals quote hashtag map. All right, I'm just carefully going to color that in and I'm going to right click and copy that. And then I need to go to the JPEG um, image part of every one of these pages. So I'm going to click on the About tab at the top and I'm going to add in after height, okay, on that JPEG line of code. I'm just going to press the space bar and go Control V and tell it to use that map. All right, I'm just going to paste that code in. Going up the top to the booking page, I'm going to where height is on this JPEG line of code pressing the space bar once, and then I'm gonna just uh, right click and do paste, which should do the same thing. All right, going up the top to the contact page, to height here on the JPEG, press the space bar once, paste it in. Gallery page, get on the JPEG line of code, go to just after height equals 1080 and control V. Now remember, if you made this on a smaller laptop, your height value is different because uh, I think you were doing 1152 and 658 or something. That's all right. Wherever your height number is, just go after that. And you need to have use map is hash mag map, map so it knows to go down and actually use this map. Uh, menu is our last one here. Go to the end of that and space bar and paste that in. Use map equals map. So on our home page, uh, they're all showing up. On our about page, uh, they're showing up. On our booking page, they're showing up. Okay, somehow it's refreshed it. If they're not showing up, just go refresh design view, all right? And then you should see them all. So, uh, control plus. Okay, I need to click on that picture and do control minus just so I can see them all. Uh, contact, I'm going to have to use this sidebar, go down, click on the picture and go control minus. They're all good. Gallery, click on the picture, control, CTRL and minus, scroll down. They're all good. Uh, menu, click on the picture bit here, CTRL and minus. Use this sidebar to go down. They're all good. So everything looks really good. Uh, so let's go back to our home page and we'll be able to test that. But I think... Uh, before we do that, this is all good. So up the top, go to the top left hand corner and go file and save all. All right, so now, uh, it did take a while in the video, but that was a lot faster to paste in this map code and just tell each JPEG image that, hey, you need to use the map code that's underneath here uh, to make these hotspot links. Okay, so that's all done. All right, so we are finally ready now to test the completed website. Uh, we're just about done. So we'll go on the home page and we should be able to click on the about page, okay, and get it to open. But now we should be able to click on the home button and get back here again, all right? We should be able to do the menu one, get to the menu page. When we click home, that should take us back here again because we've linked up all the pages now. Uh, if it isn't working, we'll have to go look at that uh, that code uh, with for the maps because something's wrong. Uh, this one, click on booking, it goes to booking, click on home, you can get back to home. Uh, so on the home page, try out gallery, go to gallery, click home, go back to home. Uh, contact, go to contact, click the home button, come back again. All right, so we have to go forward and back. There's lots of tests to do here because next we'd get the about page up, all right? Then we'd have to click on home, check that it goes to the home, then click on about to come back to this middle one. On the about page, click menu, make sure menu's there, click about to come back to the middle one. Click booking, go to booking, click about to come back here again. 
then try gallery out click on that go here click about to come back again uh, and contact click on it should get contact when you click the about it should come back to here same thing on the menu you've got a test you can go uh, to each of the pages and come back to the menu and you need to do that on the other three pages as well uh, and that way all of the links are going to work I think there's 36 combinations because we've got if we got six buttons and six pages, I think the maths is six times six equals 36 combinations. So let's try and do that as quick as we can, all right? All right, so in Dreamweaver, but this uh, testing is all going to happen in our browser, actually. So let's open this up in uh, Google Chrome this time, all right? Uh, we'll just X that other one we had open. All right, so we should be go to About, Back to Home, Menu, Back to Home, Booking, Back to Home, I'm clicking on gallery I'm clicking on home contact back to home all right they all work let's go to the about page from the about page I should be able to go home and back to about I can go to menu and click about I can go to booking and click about I can go to gallery and then click about and go to contact so they're all linking up let's go to the menu page from menu I should be able to go home and then I should be able to click menu to get back again uh, from menu I should be able to click about and go to about and then I should be able to click menu and come back again. So booking and back, gallery and back, contact and back. That's good. Let's try booking. Booking, I should be able to go home and I can click booking and go back. Uh, I can go to about and go back. I can go to menu and go back. I can go to gallery and go back. I can go to contact and go back. Gallery, I can go to home. I can go to about. I can go to menu. I'm getting dizzy. I hope you guys, you guys probably are too. And go to contact and go back. And our last one, contact. Contact should be able to go to all the others. So I can go to home, back to contact, about, back to contact, menu, and back to contact, booking, and back to contact click gallery and get back to contact and then go to my home. So that's it. It's all linked up and we've got our demonstration website for our client that we could show them. This is the sort of thing we're going to have uh, six pages on the site and they all link together like this. You can pick and click and have a go yourself. Uh, check out the menu page. Ah, oh, that's what it looks like. All right. Yeah, that's kind of okay. And they download the PDF. Yep. That's all right. Uh, click back to home and you get to the home page. All right. Uh, so that's it. Our little demonstration website to show the client is done. All right. And onto the challenge tasks now. So in the last lesson, uh, we gave you some JPEG images for a Photos by Passy four page site or a Los Ranchos uh, Mexican restaurant. Uh, there, Passy's favorite restaurant. There he is, right in the middle of the photo with all his friends, thanks to Photoshop. Uh, have a go at linking them together by making hotspots and doing all the things we've done in this lesson. That's your challenge task. And then remember, for this uh, section on website design, uh, we've got our students. They're actually going to make their own page for something of interest to them and have some links to other pages. So they should have made all the pages uh, for their website, whatever they're doing theirs on. Could be any of these things, T-Bay instead of eBay. Uh, they could go to their web pages here and uh, actually put hotspot links on them and get the whole thing linked together and finished up as a demonstration. All right. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the website course, except we do have plans that on the gallery page, uh, we're going to try and show you a video, make a video where we show how you can put a slideshow in there that just keeps running some slides on the page because uh, that's often what you see. So uh, that can be done by HTML combined with a bit of JavaScript. Uh, so we'll see if we can get a lesson together for that as well. And then that'll kind of be the end of the um, prototype website lessons. Because, you know, in the real world, you might make this prototype website just to show someone the sort of thing they could make. But then you just outsource it to the Philippines or India or somewhere else, get it built really cheap by them and the code sent back to you and you jack up the price and charge the client more. <laughs> um, or you just get WordPress and make it in WordPress or in Wix, all right? People don't kind of handcraft them with HTML unless it's a really specialized kind of website. Anyway, so have fun with uh, Adobe Dreamweaver. I hope it's been fun making these web pages and getting them all linked together. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up like. Um, give the Sony microphone a big thumbs up like. I assume it's worked okay on this video. Uh, we'll find out in a little while. And uh, yeah, keep following our page, like our page, subscribe, subscribe, so you get all the video updates, and we'll see you in the next lesson.